Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is just a quick intro. I actually have some footage of an antique shop that I went to over the weekend. Um, after I went to the vintage sale, oh sorry, I need to brush my hair, it's a little ratty. Um, after I went to the vintage sale, I actually, on Saturday, I quick stopped at an antique shop, quick walked around and got a little bit of footage. I was thinking of tacking it on to the vintage sale video, but it was already so long. Like the vintage sale video, just by itself and everything, and then me all the talking it was like over an hour so I got that down to what 46 minutes and even that I felt was too long but anyway I wanted to show some of the footage that I got because there's some really really cool items at the uh, antique shop mall actually it's a mall um, it's actually a Pine Hills store there in Lancaster County so if you're ever in Lancaster County uh, I would definitely go check it out there are a ton of really good antique malls in Lancaster County Pennsylvania so if you ever there, it's the road is 272. The towns are like Adams Town area. Um, I just thought that the one you could, I could get tons of videos, tons of videos just out of all the the shops on that street. Um, but I just hit the one. And I didn't even go through the whole place. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you some of that footage. And a minute, I'm not sure how much footage there is. I'm not sure how long this video will be. But I wanted to show it. And I only bought one little thing. I will show you that at the end. I'll do a quick little outro. But, um, but yeah, that's it. This is just basically going to be the antique mall walkthrough. Um, one little section there. I am um, a little bit longer section on, on some Roseville pottery. I, I love the look of this stuff. I don't know if I'll ever buy it, but whenever I see uh, other YouTubers talk about Roseville pottery, they always seem to know the name of the pattern. So there's a section there. I don't know. It's two minutes or five minutes where I'm just kind of showing each one and showing the tags. Cause I'm kind of doing it for my sake as well. Cause I'm still learning. I want to learn the patterns and what their names are and all that. So there's a section in there. So if you already know your Roseville pottery or you just don't care, you can just, you know, fast forward that bit if you want. But there were some really interesting things in, in the antique mall. But anyway, I'll cut to that and I'll be right back then with the outro as soon as we get through this. I just quick walk through. I had a quick little clip there. There was some lady in the booth there. So I don't want to get her in the in the shot. I couldn't tell this was real or not. I feel like another one of those fake tins. I love that there. I remember seeing a YouTuber a while back saying with some of the old oil cans, like ones that have to do with like airlines or jets are more, more valuable, but I don't think that was an original old one. All the really cool cookie jars. I love this booth. I used to shop at this booth a lot. They always had like a ton of Pyrex. Over the years, I've like had a variety of stuff, but chicken prices I just like to see what people charge for things it's five dollars I think it's a little egg cup some longer burger bowls oh yeah I came over here for this oh, I forget the name of it do I zoom in enough to be able to tell probably not oh, I did blue glass it's called a holder there's a brand name for it and I can't remember I have a brain fart I love this though. Mm, look how beautiful it is. Look at the blue glass. These are great. Like if you want to collect wine corks or put candy in them, or I'm trying to think there's something else I had in mind. We're getting it for either way. It's beautiful, especially if you had like in a windowsill and the light comes through. Gorgeous. Why did I come over here? Oh yeah, the pink ruffle glass. I think it's hazel atlas. Yeah. I saw some turquoise one um, ones at the adventure sale the same day. It's in my previous video. You can see the markings on the back there. The paint was in really good condition. Very, very shiny. Aren't these precious? These are beautiful. The Joseph Originals. That's what the tag said. Oh, I got these. I filmed these because my mom has this set, but I think hers are older. I think they made these Franciscan and Franciscan wear. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that. I think it's Franciscan. Yeah. The Desert Rose. I believe if memory serves, they made these several different times over the years. So some are worth more, I believe, because they're older. My mom has a really old set. They're really pretty. Some Fenton wear. I love the ruffled pieces. These are so beautiful. Um, I don't know that I'd ever collect them. I don't know what I'd do with them. I like things having a practical purpose. Not everything, but I like to be able to use it. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. This feels like so opulent, like so high end. Do 
Do I zoom up on the tag? Please tell me I do. Vintage wine set, I think is what it said. I'm just drooling over this glassware. Viking handkerchief. Goblet vase. Compote, whatever you want to call that. Looks like some cranberry gloss. I love this blue. Was it Fenton? Uh, doesn't say. It just says art glass. I don't think it's Fenton. I love that blue shimmer iridescent. It reminds me of like when oil spills from a car. It's in the driveway. <laughs> I think it looks so cool. This glass case was packed with treasures. Oh my goodness. They they had prices to go with it, but just beautiful pieces. If this is something you wanted to collect, they were in really good condition. This is kind of stuff where you, you might spend a lot, but it's in good condition. I doubt there's any cracks or chips or anything like that. Oh, I love that green glass bottle. I actually have the bottom. I have the bottle. I don't have the stopper. I want 89 for that. I think my husband and I spent $16 years ago just for the bottle itself down in Virginia at some point in time. Pink, I love those. I think those are Fenton little boots. <clears throat> it was hard to get prices on some of these just because the price tags were funny. Funny places. I love vintage Christmas items, anything. Santa's and little poodles and oh look at the little babies. I didn't see this before. Oh, this set was really cool. It was a lot yeah, it was like I think it's three pieces though. 165. I think there's there's three pieces. So maybe that wasn't bad for all three of those. And the, the little back bottles had their stoppers. A lot of times those stoppers are broken. Oh, I love this. Again, look at that blue. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, here is the Roseville. Now, some of, most of this is Roseville. And then as I'm going through, there are a couple pieces that were, oh, I forget. Was it Hull or Weller? I can't remember the, the brand names, but most of these are Roseville. Yeah, the Apple Blossom. This one was my favorite one. I love the apple blossom. I love the green. I love the shape of the vase. And where the handles are, it looks like it has like kind of like attitude. Kind of like when you put your hands on your hips. It just looked <laughs> it was fun. I was looking to see if there's any chips or issues with it. These were pretty pristine. Does anybody uh, here collect Roosevelt? Like, say in the comments, and do you have a favorite pattern? Or even if you don't collect it, do you have a favorite pattern, favorite color? Do you buy it, or was it given to you from a family member or a friend? Yeah, the uh, clematis. Those are pretty. I, I think I prefer more like the greens and the pinks to the browns and oranges, which is funny because I actually like orange. But these are a little, little brown for me. Yeah, this one, I don't think that pink one was Roseville, was it? Yeah, that was Hull. That was a Hull vase. Well, that was pretty, too. I can see why you get those mixed up, because I really thought these were all Roseville. Oh, look at that green and pink picture. I love that. Uh, Winecraft? Am I saying that right? Vase, Roseville. Oh, yeah, and the snowberry one. That was another one I really like. I really like the snowberry. <clears throat> that one was pretty. Was that Roseville? I don't think I got a price on that. That one was cool because you could hang it. I guess you put a plant in it or something. I've seen these a lot, like the candle holders, taper holders. I like this one too, this Roseville, the bittersweet face it says. Again, this has got kind of like its hands on its hips or something, or like it's posing, you know, one hand behind the head, one hand on the hips. <laughs> As if to say, yes, I know I'm gorgeous. That is so beautiful. I love the colors. I was seriously tempted to buy one of those. But I was kind of low on cash that day. I spent most of it at the vintage sale, so I was trying to be wise. <clears throat> that one was really pretty. I like the white flower. I've never seen this one before, the bud face thing, the Donatello. 
it could be very common. I'm again, I'm I'm still learning as I go. I didn't see any rosewood markings on it though, so I was kind of wondering how they knew. But I guess if you know, you know. Very interesting. Yeah, I like that one. That's my favorite. <laughs> Another Donatello. With the little cherubs. That's cool. I don't think this one was Roseville. I love the shape of it, though. Yeah, that was Weller. That was Weller. Okay. Because I was surprised because it looked very similar. I think that's some more Weller. I think they had the, the Roseville on one shelf and Weller on the other. Oh, yeah. The Fire King Grease Balls. You have the Tulips and you have the Red Dot. I've had both. Both really cool. It was one of those things I never used. I think I did end up selling those. interesting little pieces oh yeah I forgot about that it's like a blue glass piano I couldn't I think I could see the tag here but I couldn't get the price or see what it was it's really intriguing just interesting to see all the selections and types of glassware and thought that was interesting Couldn't read it. Even now, I can't read that. <laughs> I have no idea. Here's some paperweights. Very cool. I'm not sure what that is or what it's for. Paperweight for oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought that was pretty. That's a good price. I've actually got some recently at Goodwill for less than that. About the same size, but. Oh, I like these chickens. I'm more like the glass. I'm not so much into chickens, but I love that iridescent rainbowy glassware. Isn't that cool? 28 and 20. I was having a hard time getting them because that stained glass cat sun catcher was in the way. Oh, and all the little Easter stuff is starting to come out. These little elves in the back. Those are cute. Or pixies? What would they be? Uh, it says, oh, it says pixie. Pixie elf. You can call it whatever you want, I guess. They look like they're up to some mischief. Oh yeah, some really nice parks. High prices, high prices. <clears throat> for one ball, that's a bit much. I have never paid that for, for my Pyrex. I thought this thing was interesting. I like the pink and the black. I thought that was kind of fun. I've never seen anything like it, so I'm gonna get a shot of that. This booth always has really good stuff though. Again, their prices to me are high, but again, you have to remember I'm cheap. <laughs> So, and again, if I could sell something for that price, I knew someone, someone would pay for it, I would put that price there too. I'll check in the 442, the second smallest bowl, and there's a 442. That one can be the hardest to find, and usually if you do find it, it's buggered up and dishwasher damaged. That one was pristine. So for that whole set to be that price, that's, that's fair. My mother-in-law loves red glassware, and I'm trying to get myself familiar, familiarized with I don't remember what it was the old stuff compared to the new stuff because the old red glass I've heard was turned red by them putting gold in it. So I'm trying to figure out, like, as I find pieces, I really would like to find her some pieces that are the old ones. But I want to get the right ones. I don't want to just buy, like, a lot of the newer ones are, like, from Avon and they'll say Avon. And this booth always has a huge selection of mugs. I always wonder if they sell because they always seem to have the same ones. Or maybe they just replace them once they sell them. I love the Ziggy ones. I should get these sometime for my husband and I because he likes... There's one that says about sugar. I like my sugar. And there's another Ziggy one that says... Oh, yeah. At times I was pretty the Snoopy one. I like that. <laughs> when I see my mom, my mom loves Snoopy. There's another Ziggy mug that says something about having my coffee black. And that's Josh and I. He likes his coffee black and I like when it's cream and sugar. Well, someday I might get those. Got a Heinz Pyrex dish there. I thought this was pretty. Kind of curious about it. I guess it's for holding... I'm trying to get, <laughs> trying to get the price like 35 and That would have been 20% off because everything in this antique mall was 20% off this day.
Oh, I love these wall pockets. I don't know if I'd ever use one, but they just are, they just always catch my eye. I don't know how old it was. It's like a Victorian look, but I doubt it's that old. <clears throat> trying to get a shot of the picture, oh, sticker. I think I do zoom in again here in a minute, because I thought I had it and then I wasn't sure. So I want to play it safe. In case anybody wants information. Yes. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Made in Japan. Okay. A ring holder. I love little hands. That was kind of tempting, but I already have a couple, so I'm good to go. I like the picture on this. The reason I zoomed up on this one, I just love the pictures of the berries and the flowers. Oh, this dish. Oh, the pink and the black. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, this Fenton bowl. Oh, my goodness. Not for 120 though. My cheap self couldn't pay that. <laughs> oh, I love the pink and the black together. Not that green Fenton. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty, too, though. Look at that. Look how shiny they are. Oh my goodness. Just seeing the colors makes me happy. <laughs> I forgot about this. It's a hippo. It's just Libby. Hippo cookie jar. I have never seen that before. That was so cute. Found this for obvious reasons. It says Holly. Oh yeah, and this little... T I totally forgot about this. Little vintage elf decor. So says 74. I'm assuming it's from the 70s. It felt really cheap, though. Like, like, like nowadays dollar store quality. So I left it. A little Humpty Dumpty. Thing. Or, I almost said vase. Lamp. Goodness gracious. Ah, <sighs> sad. Maybe I need a second cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, I love this bowl. I don't need more bowls, so... No worries, I didn't buy it, but I love the um the wedge wood patterns. But I they have like the the matte finishes, if you will, and then they have these like really shiny, shiny, like glossy pieces. And I love the glossy pieces. It's beautiful. I think it, I think they went sixty five. I just I just showed the price tag. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I think they call it embossed. Yeah. Oh, I just love the way it looks. There is a, a place in, oh, how is, is, it, is it New Hope? I'm probably going to butcher the town's name. It's near Lambertsville. Lambertsville, I believe, is in New Jersey. I think it's New Hope or Hope Town or something like that is in Pennsylvania. They're right next to each other. And there's a wedge, I think it's called Wedgewood Inn. And they have, their whole entire place is filled with Wedgewood Inns. My husband and I went there once. Really nice place. Highly recommend. Oh, my goodness. Pyrex prices are just going through the roof. I remember when that piece was like $25. <laughs> But again, if you can get the money for it and someone will pay it, go for it. Oh, this little planner was so cute. I've never seen this one. And Polly, that's the one I thought that that blue uh, complet was earlier in the video. But I'm not sure the if it was or not. I was surprised at that price, but then it was like for the whole set. Oh my gosh, look at the price of this one. Do I zoom in? Yeah, $250. I thought maybe it was like 100 But I've never heard... Kanawa? Am I saying that right? I was just enamored by this bottle. I've never seen the shape before. The green was gorgeous. Some Blendo set. Josh likes the, the Blendo. Blendo. We have some glasses. 50 for the whole set. I didn't think it was too bad for that. Kind of kicking myself now. Maybe I should have got that. Oh, there's more of that Kanawa. I hope I'm saying that right. I've never heard of it in the same booth. Like twice I saw it, so I wanted to get some some shots of it because I've never heard of the brand. The purple's really pretty. Yeah, this place has so many booths. Can you guys hear the birds chirping outside my window? Oh my gosh, they're chirping like crazy. There's a robin outside our, our window this morning.
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I love this paperweight. I was going to spend 30 for it, though. Because I'm cheap. Isn't that cool, though? Just amazed by the glassware. Just want to kind of show, like, the scale of this place and, like, what looks like going down the aisles. Oh, yeah, there's this planter base, what do they call it? Bullet plant stand, yeah. That was seriously tempting. I wasn't sure if it was vintage or not. It looked it, but it felt newer. And I know a while back Target had a lot of similar ones. I thought this was amazing. I've never seen a coffee pot like this. The color glass. Oh, this plate I get really close to buying. But it had like a website on it, so I'm like, I didn't know how old it was. I'm like, well, it's got a website on it, so it can't be that old. But I love, like, that has to be like only a handful of those Corel plates that they made. Pyrex, look at all oh, these plates. Yeah, these Mikasa plates. I've never seen them before. I seriously came close to buying these. They just like they scream 80s to me. Now, I don't know if they were made in the 80s. I have no idea, but I just love them. <laughs> I did leave them there though. Nineteen seventy-nine Burger King. It's funny, at first I thought it was a sun. I didn't realize it was a burger. <laughs> I think it is supposed to be this on me? I don't know. Definitely is a cheeseburger, though. That looks cute. They had all these... All these casseroles. Dishes. And... I know a lot of people collect the corny wear, so I want to quick get a shot of some of this. I personally don't collect... I have a couple pieces, but it's not something I highly collect. Like Pyrex, I have... A bunch of pieces. This is something I could just do without. I am ending here with this huge container of pins. Slowly the past year or two, I've been kind of getting into collecting pins, but I'm extremely picky. A huge selection of Christmas trees, nice like enamel pins, gemstone pin, gem yeah gemstone pins. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I get talking fast. I'm afraid I say something incorrectly. It happens. It happens. Sparkles. Which one would you pick? I like kind of the pink ones. Seriously, if you could pick one, like if you could have one for free, which one would you pick? All right, so that was it. Um, as you can see, they have really, really good variety of stuff. And I got that was like half the store and that it wasn't even all the booths of half the store. So I did buy one little thing. I got this really cute paperweight. I've kind of, don't know why I've fallen into suddenly like buying paperweights. Um, I have another one I got a while back. I'll probably be in another video video here in the future because um, I have some Goodwill stuff I'm working on. But yeah, it was only, it was $5. Um, but everything in the shop was 20% off because um, this particular antique mall has been around, I think it's a 21 years. So that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, so I'm distracted by my hair here, but so yeah, it's been around for 21 years and this place has always had really, really good stuff. So it's fun to walk around again, but all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to quick get this video out there. Hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.